Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Let's talk about dividing fractions using the method of keep, change, and flip. So let me give you an idea. When you are dividing fractions, we will go through multiplying fractions. And let me show you how to use the keep, change, flip. We have here 2 thirds divided by 4 over 5. This is your dividend and this is your divisor. First thing we need to do is to follow the word keep, meaning we will simply keep the first fraction or copying it as 2 over 3, followed by the word change. What does it mean when you say the word change? We will change this operation division into multiplication. And next, after the keep, change, we will use or we will follow the word flip. For the flip word, given this fraction we have 4 over 5, we will flip the position of the numerator and the position of your denominator. If this is 4 over 5, it will become 5 over 4. Or simply, we're getting the reciprocal of this fraction. Now, as I have said earlier, since we're dividing, we will proceed with multiplication. After the keep, change, and flip, we will multiply. We have 2 times 5, that would be equal to 10 over 3 times 4, that is equal to 12. And the basic rule, after multiplying fractions, we need to check if we can still simplify this fraction. Since this is 10 over 12, we can still divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. And it will give you 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5, over 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 6. And the final answer is simply 5 over 6. Now you can pause the video for a while and you can try 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 8. Okay, let's continue. We have here 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 8. Let's follow the keep. We will copy this 1, 3, over 4. Next is the word change. Change this operation to multiplication. Flip. Get the reciprocal or flip your 1 over 8. It will become 8 over 1. Now, in this case, guys, we can use the cancellation method. Actually, here, we can also use the cancellation method, but I am just sticking to the process of, of multiplying it. So here, we can cancel this out. It will become 1. Here, we can cancel 8. So there are 2 fours here, so it will become 2. And after cancellation, we can multiply the numerators 3 times 2. That would be equal to 6 over your 1 times 1, that is equal to 1, or simplifying this fraction, 6 over 1, this will give us the answer of 6, meaning the answer is simply 6. Now let's proceed with another example. So what we have here are examples number 3 and examples number 4. We have here 4 over 7 divided by 8 over 21. We will keep the first fraction that would be 4 over 7, change the operation to multiplication, flip the second fraction, we have 21 over 8. Since the numbers are bigger compared from the other, or from the previous examples, I would suggest that we will use the cancellation method. We will cancel out their common factors. Here, 4 and 8, the common factors is 4, we have 1, 4 here, 2, 4 here, and as for 7 and 21, their common factor is 7. How many 7s do we have in 7? We only have 1, so we can cancel this out. It will become 1. And here in 21, we have 3 7s. Now, we can multiply the remaining numbers. We have 1 times 3. It will be equal to 3 over 
1 times 2, which is equal to 2. And as you can see, our final answer here is 3 over 2. It's already in simplified form, but I would suggest that you should convert this into mixed number. The equivalent mixed number of 3 over 2 is simply 1 and 1 half. Meaning, we can declare that the possible answers are 3 over 2 or 1 and 1 half. Okay? Now, let's proceed with our next example. We have here 12 over 20, 21 divided by 16 over 28. So, stay still. We have K, C, F. Keep, we have 12 over 21, and then change this operation to multiplication. This one must be flipped. It will become 28 over 16. As you can see, the numbers are big, so we, we might use the cancellation method if we can cancel out some numbers. We have here 12 and 16. Now, for 12 and 16, their common factor is definitely 4. So, how many 4s do we have in 12? We have 3 4s. How many 4s do we have in 16? We have 4 4s. What about 21 and 28? Try to figure it out. Okay, their common factor or the great common factor is 7. We have three sevens here, okay, as you can see. Now, in 28, how many sevens do we have? We have four. And as you can see, the numbers are three, three, and four over four. Actually, you can still cancel out the numbers. Here, we have three here. We also have three here, so we only have one and one. 4 and 4, so 1 and 1, and come on, notice nyo, when you multiply this, this will become 1 over 1, and simplifying these numbers, 1 over 1 is simply 1, meaning the quotient between 12 over 21 divided by 4, 16 over 28 is simply 1, okay? So I hope, guys, you learned something in this video but let me give you the last problem as part of her routine. Let me give you 2 over 5 divided by 6 over 7. And can you please answer this in the comment section? So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and... Bye-bye.